This is the video on addiction. According to the dictionary, addiction is a compulsive, chronic, physiological, or psychological need for a habit-forming substance, behavior, or activity having harmful physical, psychological, or social effects. It typically causes well-defined symptoms such as anxiety, irritability, tremors, or nausea upon withdrawal or abstinence. Wow, that was a mouthful. Let's break it down. Addiction is a brain disorder. It causes compulsive engagement in stimuli that trigger the reward system in the brain. This is done despite the consequences of the behavior, so the brain's reward system goes awry, allowing the person to make bad choices. This includes making choices about the food you eat or the amount of food you eat, to use drugs or alcohol or tobacco, to gamble, or to engage in sexual activities or even participating in risky behavior. We've all heard of the adrenaline junkie. Being an addict is costly to the population as a whole. The total economic cost of addiction in the U.S. is greater than that of diabetes and cancer combined. This includes medical treatment, hospitalization, emergency treatment, auto accidents, long-term complications from the addiction, and incarceration of addicted individuals. Drug addiction can lead to dependence. When a person is dependent on a drug or alcohol, stopping the use of the drug will place the person into withdrawal, a state that is very unpleasant and possibly fatal. Tolerance develops when the person must take more of the drug to get the same effect that they used to get previously. The drug has a diminished effect after repeated use. The emotion base of the limbic system plays a role as well. The limbic system's emotional processing can signal the presence of a reward or punishment and activate the programs aimed at procuring rewards and avoiding punishment. Many of the habit-forming drugs work on the limbic system by altering the neuromodulatory effects of dopamine on the processing of reinforcement signals leading to addictive behavior. Not to be overly complicated, but the amygdala plays a big role in addiction. The amygdala, the subiculum, and the orbital medial prefrontal cortex convey emotional reinforcement signals to the nucleus accumbens. The nucleus accumbens integrates excitatory signals under the influence of dopamine, which arrives from the ventral tegmental area, or VTA. Both the nucleus accumbens and the VTA are the target sites for addiction drugs to reinforce emotional processing by prolonging the action of dopamine. Under normal circumstances, the dopamine neurons are physically active, but with the addition of input from the amygdala and orbital medial prefrontal cortex, the neurons become more responsive. The activation of this complex of limbic connections is believed to cause the rewarding effects of normal activities, but the phasic release can lead to experience-dependent plasticity, which in turn leads to tolerance. The cellular and molecular adaptations to the limbic circuits with chronic exposure to addictive drugs dampens the response to less potent natural rewards while intensifying the response to addictive drugs. This can lead to a decrease in the influence of the decision-making processes, risk assessment, consequences, and social appropriateness. While the brain disease concept of drug addiction is not well worked out, research is still strong in this field. This ends the video on addiction.